Let's quickly examine our data. We have this data on PISA. We have the PISA ID, the other ID. We have the PISA name, PISA name ID. Then we have the quantity order by date, other date, other time, time of order. Then we have the unit price. We have the total price. Then PISA size. This is large, small. This is large, medium, we have small. Then we have the pizza category. This is the type of pizza category that we have. Then we have the pizza in ingre ingre <coughs> ingredients that was used to make the pizza. Then lastly, we have the pizza um, name. So basically, what we are going to do with this data, I'm going to insert some extra columns and then I'm going to remove some. So first, this is the data cleaning part of the uh, model. So what I want to do first is to So I want to take this to power query first So I'm going to control a to select everything then I'll go to my data I will say get from text you know, from table or range click ok so I'm going to click ok So this is taking it to convert it to a table then taking it to power query all right so this is quickly this is this shows me how to quickly examine my data to see if i have errors and or empty rows for me for you to achieve this go to your view then put on your column quality on so immediately you see this is off immediately you put it on you will see the call the quality of your data we know if there, there are errors or not all right so <clears throat> So now what I want to do here, yeah, I want to go to column, I'll go back to home. Then the first thing is I want to remove the pizza name. I want it to be just the pizza name and remove, I want to remove the pizza. Then I want to remove um, Dell. So I'm going to you know, align this column. Then I'll go to replace value. So let's go to transform, then look for replace values. Then here, I'm going to say, I want to look for D with a space. Then I want you to replace it with nothing. I'm going to click OK, and that is done. Then I want to remove the pizza as well. So I'll go back to my transform, click on replace values. Then I'm going to look for pizza, space first, then pizza. Then replace it with nothing as well, and that is gone. On that replace value, if you check replace value, you have a couple of things here. You can replace values, you can replace errors. In this bit, I'm not doing anything on on pizza in, in ingredients, so I want to remove pizza ingredients. So I'm going to right click and remove. So again, I want to work on this time. This is time, but this is not showing properly. So I'm going to convert this time to proper time. Let's go to let's go to this decimal point and let's change this to time. This is proper, and let's go to date and make this date. I don't want date and time, and this is okay. So here we are going to extract the um the date to extract the date click on this column then i want you to look for what we call extract then from extract i want to extract the character before the limiter the limiter is what divides your um data your data value that you want to extract in our case is this um is this so since we've identified the limiter, I'm going to go to extract. On that extract, I want to extract before the the limiter. Then I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to put input the delimiter. I'm going to click OK. That our data is extracted here. And if you go here, you say the first this is a day that we're looking at. Now again, the second thing I'm going to do is to extract our month. To extract the month again, I will go to extract. Then I'll look for after the delimiter. Then I will put the delimiter there. I will click OK. 
and this we're going to extract the text after the delimiter again for me to separate the month and the year i'm going to click on this again then extract this to say i want the limiter before before the delimiter again then i'll put the delimiter i will click ok and this will give me the delimiter the then again i will extract after the limiter to get my year i'll say after the delimiter the then i will say this is the delimiter sign i will click ok and this will give me the year so now i can remove this column so i have my month then i can put this one to be month and then this is year then i have the day somewhere here this is quantity this the first one that was extracted was day which is this so this is my day so i have all this now i can decide to control shift to select all the three then move it forward and put it beside the date so i have all this that was a nice way to show you how to use um, text and replace value that we have within within um, in, uh, within Power Query. But this, there's a very easy way to do this. You can we can use the date function to extract. If you click on other date, then you go to your home tab. You will see that okay under transform, we have this date function, and then let's extract our day name of day and this will create another column for us so basically what i'm going to so now what i'm going to do is to remove this since i have done this already well if you like we can remove the one we've done before we can remove this let's remove this i'm simply going to remove columns i'm going to leave this ones I'm going to change this to this should be here and this I'm going to remove the dot one then for the day I'm going to remove dot one as well now let's confirm this so 2024 first January 1 2024 is what all right so with that being done now um, what i'm going to do is to remove this i don't i don't to uh, i want to remove this and so i'm going to remove this i don't want this i'll use the one that was extracted so i'm simply going to remove these columns um but i'm just showing you that this uh ways you can what you can do as well so again, I want to extract the quarter. Let me click on this. Then let's go to add column, extract dates, and let's look at the quarter, quarter of the year. Yeah, so this is okay. Then I'm going to take this back to, yeah, quarter. Okay, I'm going to drop this here. All right, with this done, I'm still going to take this back to our Excel, then continue to work. So let's go back to home. Let's go to close and load. Give it some time to load. So here yeah, we have, then we call this quarter number quarter one well, i will call this i'll make this our quarter then let's remove let's remove this okay ctrl z i'm going to paste this here paste the value Okay. 
So I'm simply going to take this. While pressing down the control shift, then I'm going to put it there. I'm going to remove this. Now, so with this done, the next thing I want to do is to examine our data. All right, quickly, I want, to, okay, so I want to add something to this. This day that we have, I want to extract the day of the week that this is. is. I'm going to say, I'm going to use the formula called weekday. Okay, so let's simply add this column here. Let's say weekday. And uh, Okay, so I'm going to say which day of the week is this. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to change this to genera. Let me change this. This formatting is important to say this is our date. Yeah, this is the date that you we want, right? So then I'm gonna say I want text, I want day, I want this. Then I want the day format to be this, this, this. I'm not gonna click this. Yeah, so this is Monday. Again, this is weekday. Just like this. They're going to ask you the type you want. Right, so do you want So we don't need this. All right, so this week day, say day of the week, let's call this day of the, day of the week. And what we simply did was to put our text value and change this to date. Let me do this again, just to be sure that this was captured. So I'm gonna say text, I'm gonna do, this I want format of a day. I'm gonna click OK, and this is Monday. All right. So with this done. This is all we're gonna do is let's check first of let's check October um 2024 January. Let's check um January 2024. So January 2024 was was Monday. So that's going to follow the actual date that. Um, we the sales actually occurred. So with this done, we can begin our analysis. But before we begin our analysis, I want to add a picture name. I want this to have a picture name, so I'm going to copy this and paste it here. Then I'm going to call this picture, visa picture name. Okay. Then I'm going to click on. Control A to select everything. Control A to select everything. Then go to Insert Recommended Pivot Tables. Pivot Tables is where we're going to do the summary of all of our data. Then I'm going to click OK. 
so at this point we have this but what i want to say quickly 